And another entry in the SHTF library, the Survival Medicine Handbook by it's a husband and wife, Joseph Alton and Amy Alton. They are medical doctors. They're from Canada. And it's basically a, a medical book for preppers. Um, some of these things would require medical expertise to, to actually accomplish, but there are a lot of practical things in here on how to set up your own kind of mock emergency room type set up idea of a quarantine area there's let's see here am i missing the index here there's there's an index that i'm looking for here let's see here i will find it okay so continuing this is the table of contents so we've got principles of medical preparedness history of preparedness um, becoming a medical resource. Let's see here. So it gives, you know, these are like good questions to ask as far as setting up your, uh, you know, and, and they're obviously giving their opinions on a lot of this stuff. You know, this long list of, uh, you know, special needs, physical environment, how long, obtaining knowledge, obtaining training. So, you know, they're encouraging you to get training along with having this book. And then they have a lot of just sections about different things. So hygiene and sanitation, hygiene related medical issues, ticks, lice, parasitic worms, dental issues, respiratory illness, food and waterborne illness, diarrhea, or diarrheal disease and dehydration, dealing with sewage issues, rodents as disease vectors. It's kind of an interesting chapter. Germs that cause diseases, abdominal infections. Let me see here. Talking about diverticulitis, pelvic inflammatory disease, ovarian cysts, hepatitis, urinary tract infections, uh, tetanus, abscesses, cellulitis, mosquito-borne illnesses, uh, the survival sick room, that's a good chapter and discussion on those type of things and how to set one of those up and, and how you could do that in a civilian context with a grid down situation. So natural disaster, environmental issues, talking about hypothermia, hypothermia, altitude sickness, wildfire preparedness, mudslide preparedness. I mean, they cover a, a wide range of things in here. <laughs> Volcano, um, injuries to soft tissue, minor wounds, hemorrhagic wounds, soft tissue wound care, wound closure, how to suture skin, how to staple skin, local anesthesia, nerve blocks, blisters, splinters, fish hooks, uh, nail bed injuries, burn injuries, first degree burns. You know, you really just, you get a lot of stuff in this. Animal bites from reptiles and talking about brain injuries, high blood pressure, heart disease, and chest pain in the chronic medical problems section. Um, other important, you know, CPR and austere settings, eye care, nosebleeds and nasal trauma, earache, birth control, pregnancy delivery, uh, pregnancy and childbirth complications, how to prevent pregnancy, pregnancy care basics, labor, delivery, anxiety, depression, sleep deprivation, medications, essential over-the-counter drugs. There's a long list of that. I've been through that. Um, pain medications, natural pain relief, stockpiling medications, antibiotic options. That's something, that's a serious situation. Um, how to use antibiotics, and it lists, lists all these different types that you would, uh, be encouraged by them to have this this book is an awesome resource a lot of a lot of uh stuff to think about while reading this book a lot of things you might want to actually go get classes on but as far as just having a a, a good desk reference uh, overview of things and, and another one the, uh, the physician's desk reference would be another thing to have for this like as a companion to this so if i ever get one of those i'll put that in the list i don't currently have one as i'm Still in the same boat as a lot of people. Still in the middle of preparing and, and figuring out holes in my setup for what I've got going on. But this this is definitely one of the uh, main medical books that a person should have in the beginning to kind of give you a, a good idea and some baseline tutorials on things. So yes, the uh, and this is mentioned there. Uh, Doom and Bloom Medical is the. Uh, 
sort of the website and things like that. And they have their own podcast. The, these guys have got awesome stuff. You should check out their website as well. You can't go wrong having this book and and listen to these people talk about stuff because they're preppers too. They're in the same mindset as you are, and they've asked a lot of these same questions, but they just happen to be medical professionals that have come up with some of their own answers based on a uh, career in the medical field. So yes, this is the next in that line of SHTF library suggestions get hard copies of.